Hey LiveScope users, how would you like to be able to pan your LiveScope transducer while spot locked? Today I'll show you how to convert a useless trolling motor into a wireless LiveScope transducer mount that you can control its position from anywhere in the boat. No more having to manually rotate the transducer. This is particularly useful if you have multiple people fishing on the boat, allowing each of you to see your lures on the live scope without excessive movement. I'll take you to the garage to show you how this conversion works. I bought this non-working wireless trolling motor for 50 bucks. Oftentimes the main board goes out, but the only thing you need is the rotating motor. So I purchased this wireless motor controller for about 13 bucks on Amazon and wired it to the motor so I can rotate it left and right, just like this. And that's all you really need. This is an easy retrofit that anybody can do. You can see that I have a GPS trolling motor that is spot locked onto the brush pile and I can pan around independently from the trolling motor. Here is a close-up view of the live scope screen as I'm panning around with a wireless controller. So let's take a look at this converted trolling motor. It's basically mounted just like any other trolling motor, mounted to the front. The main computer board has been stripped and the wireless controller is underneath the front deck. The transducer cable is mounted to a spring, a stainless spring, that just keeps tension on it so that it doesn't uh, hang loose and get cut by the trolling motor that is right next to it. So as you can see, when it goes down, the spring is uh, a little tight and as you rotate the motor as you can see here the spring just keeps tension on it and lets it rotate while giving uh, as it needs uh, as it needs to so you can go all the way around 360 degrees and the spring just just gives enough to uh, keep the line tight then the direction of the trolling motor is uh, the same direction in which the transducer is pointed and once you're done using it, you can just fold it back just like your trolling motor and I just do both of them at, at the same time. On the deck of the boat, it looks like this, as you can see there. You can see I took the propeller off of the uh, trolling motor because it's no longer useful. And you can mount the live scope with the hardware that comes with your live scope transducer onto this trolling motor. And there's the configuration. So if you're like me and you want the ability to be able to control your trolling motor from anywhere, keep an eye out on uh, Facebook or Craigslist for wireless trolling motors, 12 volt systems that uh, stopped working or somebody's selling for parts or they've upgraded. And you can pick them up from $50, which is a really cheap one. I got a good deal on that one. Another one I found was at about $200. So for a few hundred dollars, you can have a LiveScope wireless controller for about the same price as um, buying a manual one and uh, you can control it from anywhere on the boat. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed the video and learned something today.